The final thing that our platformer game is missing is a winning screen. So when he gets here to the end, then he gets a congratulations that he won the game. So uh, let's move this coin maybe towards here. And then when he uh, collides with this, then he wins the game. So a win screen will be opened up. It's pretty similar to uh, the UI we created earlier in combination with the trigger box. So let me show you uh, this one as well. Go to content drawer. Content, we already created a folder, namely UI. Open this one up. Right click, scroll down below, user interface, widget blueprint, just like before, use the widgets. And also call this WBP underscore windscreen. And let's open this one up. If you remember from last time, let's add a canvas panel, drag this one in here, and we need a text. And the text is, for example, um, make here size to content, and the content right here is you win. And under appearance, let's increase this font so our player sees clearly that he won. Let's also look for the outline. And I like to set this to one. Okay. And let's drag this into position. And let's anchor this to the middle of our screen. And underneath here, we can add a button to uh, replay uh, or restart the level or quit the game. So uh, let's look for a vertical, bo vertical box first. Let's drag this in here. So uh, my buttons, uh, let's align them here, for example. So anchor these two there. First button, drag it onto the vertical box. And uh, F2 to rename this one. Start button. And then a new button, also on the vertical box. Let's play this down below. F2. And let's name this quit button. Okay. Our vertical box we can scale this one down and we can also drag text by scrolling in you can drag your text inside this button and on top of that button this first one under content let's call this restart game and the second one let's name this quit okay we can uh, align our box you can also uh, tweak uh, the outlook of this one. Then we no longer need this. We have all the uh, things we could wish for. So don't have the text selected, but the button selected. Maybe also rename this to um, restart button. And this button, let's name, oh, this is already named quit button. So restart button. And then you can go here and then unclick. So when a player clicks this, Open level by object reference and level name was platforming. Then you have your quit button right here, but you can also go back to designer tab, have the quit button selected, and then do the same thing. Unclicked and Unreal has already have a function for this quit game. So then this uh, quits the game, compile save to win screen or very simple win screen. Could be done so let's uh let's go back here and let's set a trigger for this so once again under volumes then type in trigger volume or a trigger box so the trigger volume make sure this uh, covers covers the area where a player can walk on a win this should be fine and also let's have this one select trigger volume f2 to rename this win place then come back here to open level blueprint right click add event to trigger volume collision and when he overlaps then let's create this widget on screen so once again create widget uh, maybe from uh, the other actor so cast to third person character once again and make sure these ones are also connected then the windscreen and add it to viewport. So we created our buttons and when our player collides with this trigger, we show this on screen. 
And uh, let's start here, right click play from here. So we can see we can still collect points. And when I go here, you win. And now you can see uh, there's one little error. <laughs> I cannot uh, select uh, with my mouse cursor and I can still play uh, my game. So uh, let's fix this up really quickly. Go back here into the content drawer and then um, back to the windscreen. And then here on this one, you can see these notes right here on event construct, which is actually on uh, when this one is created, when uh, event begin play is actually, um, but this time it is for UI comparable to event begin play. So then we can uh, go show mouse cursor, oh, maybe right click, get player controller, and then drag from here mouse cursor and then we can go set mouse cursor set show mouse cursor is the one we need and set this to true and maybe what you can also do uh, from here UI only set input mode UI only so we only can uh, work with the user interface and no longer interact with the game and then show our mouse cursor so we can click the buttons on screen and then a final er error that may occur is um, that our player runs in, in the background and uh, we hit other things so what we then can do is set game past so the game is past when my screen show up and nothing fancy or tricky can happen and make sure this is ticked compile save play and it's better uh, to cheat a, a little bit and so right click and play from here and let's go now see the game is passed nothing is happening anymore and I can uh, quit the game you see this quits the game or I can so let's do this once more I can now restart the game but when we want to restart our game let's go back here to uh, restart here we set uh, input mode game uh, UI only, so let's drag off, set input mode game only once again. And now I hit play, once again I always forget this, we can cheat our way through here and do this faster. Now when I restart my game, then I can fully restart and have my controls back.